All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the finale of this Mass Effect series with the engineer. So I'm going to celebrate the finale with Bullweed. <laughs> Here we go. Where are we going now? We just got done with X-57. Asteroid X-57. Now I think we're going to Vermeer. <laughs> yep, we are. That's where we're going. Message coming in. <laughs> Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation. Oh, I forgot about this one. For us to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth fleet out. Fifth fleet out, all right. Kind of bear with me, this is my first time smoking while I'm commentating a video. It is the 20th, isn't it? Yes, it is. First day of spring today. Wow, didn't realize that. About time. I'm done with fucking winter. <laughs> so here we go to Cho. In route. Here we go with the new um, Colossus armor on. Um, this, I don't remember doing this one a lot, so, um, I know I try to save the, um, researchers, but I don't remember doing this quest because it's, uh, um, is it your psychological profile or your... You must die. Oh, there. Okay, splash damage is what killed that researcher. Next time. Okay, I was wondering which one killed. Get out of the way. Yeah, I had trouble here. Yeah. As you can see, I had a lot of trouble here. I wish it would tell you how many researchers were killed. I think only one died, and it was that one that took the splash damage. Message coming in. Patching it through. <laughs> Good work, Commander. 
You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. I'm sorry we lost some of the researchers, Admiral. The biotics knew what they were doing. Nobody could have gotten out of there with fewer innocent lives lost. <laughs> you saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Fifth lead out. Yeah, that is true. We did save a lot of lives. We only lost one, I think. Which I don't think is bad. So, now we're going to go back to Vermeer. And we're going to get Vermeer done. About fucking time. Don't explore the planets. You know there's nothing here. There we go. Commander, I'm yep. signal. You're done. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot. Oh, crap. I can't. Get you in underneath the radar, Commander. You've got a clean drop, Commander. Nice job, Joker. Range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. <clears throat> I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joker. Mm. Okay. Do I skip this? I do. Nice. He's touched down at the base, but it looks like. <clears throat> Solarian captain can explain it Okay, cool. I skipped all the driving. I mean, hell, the only thing you see is me shutting down AA towers and um, opening gates. You just push a button. That's all you do. That's why I just skipped it. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So yeah. what found? Did you? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. Krogan? How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the Genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. <laughs> the Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Yeah, he would be, wouldn't he? Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. 
Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. <laughs> the lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. Yeah? This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. <clears throat> That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Right? Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. <laughs> I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Oh yeah, that'd be the way to go. The facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. Right? That makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I don't know, it's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry, we'll see you on the other side. I know, I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. Whatever happens, everyone just keep shooting. We go in hard, hit them harder, and we'll be the only damn thing that comes out the other side. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission, and what is at stake. Love this speech. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. Silence. Whoa. Who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not see the solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, 
We will hold the line. Love that speech. I hope we will meet again. I do. I love that speech. Every time I love it. I'm looking for a uh, um I'm looking for a uh, balanced team, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna get one. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get one. That sucks. I should have brought Rex and Tally. Because, uh, well, we are fighting Krogan too, I guess, so. Com check, do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay, work on Garrus here. Do you? Do you? I'm perfect. So, Mr. Garrus gets some new guns. Then we put Inferno Rounds, Frictionless Materials. All right. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Final teams, move. Crossfire. Check the long range turret help get Okay, so right here is the first thing you can disable for the Solarians. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. Then we go down and underneath, and then we move on. Something scrambled. They're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off my line. I thought I cut this out, but apparently I didn't. <clears throat> They're calling sat strikes. Jayeto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? There, we got the satellite taken down. Yeah, I just say hell with it, and I move on. There we go. Now, next part. Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up.
Excuse me. Now watch this. One overload's gonna take this out. Boom! What a shot that was. Yeah. We got him. <laughs> I love playing as engineer. I really do. Because they're so overpowered. <clears throat> they're so overpowered. They really are. Okay. Into the base we go. <clears throat> We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms. From you. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side. To clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. So yes, we killed some Solarians, and Liara was like, oh, well, Kiri said that he lost some men. Well, here's where they are. They got captured. Was a good hit. Whoa. You know, as an engineer, you can make a ton of Omni Gel. Why didn't I just do that in this run? I don't know. Well, probably because I needed the good equipment. What do you want? I told you everything. I. Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it up. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Menosavada of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, sir. 
captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd say anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments. I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something is not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I can't move it over. Why are they repeated when they're so simple? Simple! At least they fixed the glitch where if you had your gun out in a elevator, you could move around. You know, you could move the camera around. We go. We took all them bastards down. Oh, we got the X. For Savant, nice. There, I finally caught on that I gained a level. Oh yeah, there's one over here, yeah, open. Let's hear. Who are you? What do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. Right. Do you think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic lives. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? 
I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Oh! You enjoyed that, guy. Yes, I did. Yes, he did. You never fuck with Shepard. You never fuck with Shepard. Another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Holy shit! Trippy, man, trippy. <laughs> You think, Gears? You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I do not think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I. I'm Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Yeah, it is. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Damn. What do you want from us? Slaves? 
Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. See, when you say that, but you'll see why that's an untrue statement. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship Sovereign, it's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console is no longer functioning. Ideas, Commander Shepard. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. And I don't know why I didn't cut this running part out either, but I didn't. Stupid me. God. That's how you kill a Krogan right there. There, I got it. Nice shot, whoever took that down. Just checking for items, that's all I'm doing here.
Don't know why Liara was using a sniper rifle. But for some damn reason, she was. That's it. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. Set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Okay, we're in. in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? Yeah, get over here. He's almost ready. <coughs> get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Gaff have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative! Just make sure that nuke is set! We'll hold him as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Okay, here we go. Stupid warlord. What do we get here? Crossfire. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Heads up, LT. We just spotted the troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? What the fuck? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. No matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. No thanks. Radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander. I It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Fight hard, Lieutenant. Die proud. Aye aye, Commander.
Here we go. Shit! This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My guess were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power, even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, Utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Right? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. Right? No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve. I'll be right back. This is my only hope. Don't you see? You're just a tool. Sovereign's using you. In the end, you'll be tossed aside with all the rest. Do you think you can sway me, Shepard? Do you think I haven't already thought of this? Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. Alright, here we go. No way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. I love that little hoverboard that Saren has. I think that's so cool. There we got him. Hell yeah! Let's head him up, move him out! Up 
Okay, time for my King Charles here. His Majesty King Charles. I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Elenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. Yes, he did. Me, Commander. You know that. Chief Williams, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm, I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Elenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits are on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. What you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. A sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Ah. Oh. Looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now we're just going to talk to everybody. I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I'm, uh... Thanks, Commander. You're welcome, Garrus. All right. Commander, 
Things got heated back on Vermeer. You think? You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. Yes, he can. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> so long, Rex. Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. Baby! Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? No. I should go. See you later. So then we try to get some blueberry pie, is what we're trying to do here. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? There's nothing noble about Saren or what he did. He got exactly what he deserved. Yes, I suppose you're right. I should not waste sympathy on Saren. Not when there are so many others who have suffered because of him. Right? Let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. See, I wish this loading screen was a... Um... Screensaver, that'd been cool. I mean, my god, they made one for the Matrix. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Is it now? One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Yeah, it's true. Dial served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! 
It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Asshole. Commander. Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. I showed them the truth and they still won't believe. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Yeah, you this is true. What you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. While they sit on their asses, Saren searching Ilos for the conduit. As soon as he finds it, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Cock block! Captain Anderson. Cock block! What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. Fucking Joker cock blocked us. That's what he did. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Log, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. You know, and I mean, that's the professional way of dealing with something like that in real life, you know? Just say, hey, you have the right to your opinion, but I, with all due respect, disagree with it, you know? You're being polite about it. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back right. in the front. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines. But I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. 
Get help now. Right? You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulus. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I just need one more boost. That sounds like an addict talking, Keeler. Right? I convince you. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Still can't believe that could happen out in the open. Fucking racist. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islands. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. Damn, I'm stoned. Before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going? Look to at her eyes; they're all bugged out. Sure, <laughs> you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Smoking some weed, Anderson. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. He's starting to look all Chinese-eyed. Maybe I can override it. He's not gonna let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason. A capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. All right. So here we go. Back into the ship. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. <clears throat> Get us out of here. Now. Add him up, move him out. Alright, we're going to Ilos. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. 
and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. Go ahead. I'm listening. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. I want this, Liara. I do. But are you sure you're ready? I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. Damn right! Hell, I'd be smoking afterwards. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. Ready for round two? <laughs> Commander? Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard. Yeah, he cock blocked us earlier, so fuck him. I just wanted to say. <laughs> Thank you. For everything. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? The stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option, it's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? Damn right! I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker! Drop us right on top of that bastard. Here we go. Ilos and the finale. I thought I got up and took a piss here. No, I didn't, so. That's what I did earlier. I had to get up and use the bathroom, so. My pills do that to me. But that's a good thing because um, around this time my feet swell. Because the weather's changing. Well, my one of my pills makes me pee more, and so my ankles don't, my feet and ankles don't get um, the fluid. You two, keep moving inside. All right. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. You think? Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. I thought I cut this out. Apparently I didn't.
Oh yeah, see I thought I did. I thought I cut the, all that out. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Yeah, we should. Yep, I do. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Who votes we take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker? I do. The firepower will come in handy. Here we go, we're on the run. <laughs> Remember that commercial from Cartoon Network? Or it was a promo, what not? Commercial is a promo. Here we go, we're on the run. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have one of those things in the wall. Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep them. Oh, I flipped. Uh-oh. What did I do here? I can't remember what I did about this. Oh, there we go. That was kind of cool. Flipping like that. I do not think Saren is behind this. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? I'm not putting faith in anybody being on my side. Not anymore. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. 
pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the Relay Network. The Conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. 
a way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll stop Saren. Just tell me how. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. We're in a race to save the galaxy and you want to play Q&A with a hologram? You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Okay. All right. Don't know why I didn't cut this out, but I didn't for some reason. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. We can get there in time. Their plan only fails if we do. And I've come too far to watch Saren win. Okay, so I did cut it out. Nice. There. The conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay. And these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Trippy, man. <laughs> oh, this is where it seal the arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the citadel. Evacuate the council. I forgot this is the run that it stuck there. Go, go, go! Run, Forrest, run! Hang on, it's gonna get a little rough. Ah! We knocked one into the conduit and it sent it off to the Citadel. That was funny. I, did, I didn't notice that. Hell yeah. That was cool. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. <laughs>
All right, let's kill these bastards and get up there. See, this is the glitch I'm talking about. You can, um, you have your gun up, and you can move the camera around if you wanted. I didn't do it in this one, but... Trippy, man. Now this is a cool sort of POV kind of deal. There's Sovereign right there, and I've never noticed that. That is such a cool shot. This one, I always love this one because it's just fucking shoot everything that gets in your way, you know? Because at this point, you're so overpowered that you are not, you can't lose. There we go. All right, here we go. Ha! Ah, one of their guns was floating.
we go, the, dro the drop ship. We got the drop ship. <clears throat> I mean, that's pretty impressive that you can just stand there and fucking kill them just like that. Means I'm over fucking powered, man. See, I mean, what what I tell you? These engineers are just so overpowered. They really are. Is this the one where I die? Then we go inside, kill a few more gas, boom, 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 and then we see about finishing the game.
it in time, Shepard. Had to wipe out a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. Smart ass Shepard. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has Improved. Me. With a bigger dick? Let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I <laughs> suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. The Reapers don't use organics. They devour and discard them. As soon as the conquest is over, you'll be cast aside. Exactly. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You can't sacrifice human lives to save the Council. What have they ever done for us? Yeah, that's a good point. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. Exactly. We can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. We have to hold them back until Sovereign's exposed. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Commander. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Oh, shit. 
sure he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. don't like this fight. down no matter what the cost. Damn right. Hoorah! There, we got him. Bastard. Talk about an explosion. Hell yeah, that was a cool explosion.
Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'd rather have the Captain on the Council than any politician I know. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. Don't start patting yourselves on the back just yet. Sovereign wasn't alone. The rest of the Reapers are still out there. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Damn right. And that's going to be the end. All right. This game is just so well made. I, I love playing it every time. So, of course, I'm importing this character to Mass Effect 2. That'll be coming up the next Sunday. You know, which will be... The... 7th of May. 7th of May is when this will launch. So it'll be next week. So, hope you all had fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.